I simply got sucked into new ideas about how mastodons lived, how they interacted with one of the first humans to occupy North America. And these things really caught my interest in a way that, that I couldn't just set aside. I started at the University of Michigan in the fall of 1979. I was working quite a bit at the time on horseshoe crabs. What propelled me to switch from horseshoe crabs to mastodons was within the first two months that I was here, two new mastodon skeletons were found. The second one was an animal that showed evidence that, that humans had been associated with that animal. We couldn't tell whether they had killed the animal, but they had almost certainly butchered the carcass. Looking for evidence to clarify the question of how and how much did humans interact with these animals, that was something that I committed a lot of my time and work to that I think had not been as much the focus of earlier research programs. It's somewhere in the neighborhood of 25 to 30 from Michigan. After the fourth, fifth, sixth mastodon that had turned up, the pattern we found that had to do with where they were found was that they were found often in what had been ancient ponds. The answer that, that I began to focus on, just hypothetically initially, was that it had something to do with preserving the meat. I think the story that is told by really all of these Michigan mastodons, from the evidence of human association, there's at least a, case to, a strong case to be made that humans did hunt these animals, that humans depended on access to these animals for their own survival, and for me that reads as evidence that humans are responsible for causing the extinction of these animals. There are more people who will say, ah, oh, it's still unresolved and it will remain unresolved for, for many years. To put a tighter focus on that interpretation, whether it survives or ends up getting rejected, is probably one of the main points to which we will, we will move in, in future work. I retire at the end of this calendar year. I'll be a professor emeritus. It'll be good to really make this not only my main focus, but It'll be much more what I do instead of just a part of what I do as a faculty member. <laughs>